Hi everyone! As part of a new series, I'm super excited to be showing you some of my favorite cottagecore inspired crafts that you can make yourself to decorate your own room or anywhere in your house really. This first one that I want to show you is how to make your own felt banner. The supplies only cost about $5 so it's very cheap and it looks great when you have it finished. This is the one I made. I went for a star and moon theme, but you can do any shape that you like. If you'd like to see more cottagecore content like this, consider subscribing. I've got a lot of cottagecore crafts and fashion videos planned that are, so I'm excited to share those with you. So for this craft, all you need are some felt sheets. I have four felt sheets in three different colors. I got pastel blue, pink, and two beige, and then you'll need a pair of scissors, some string, a pen for drawing, and some cardboard in order to make the stencil out of. I also got myself some tea, make sure to take a tea break. So first thing you're going to do is, with your stencils, you're going to trace them onto the cardboard. I like to do this because it's so much easier to do the next step, which is make a million of these on your felt. The cardboard just makes sure that they're all the same size, and you can reuse it later for another project if you ever want to. Once you're done tracing, just carefully cut them out. Try to keep it as in between the lines as possible because you want these to look even when you're tracing them onto your felt. Next up, just trace this onto the felt a bunch of times. When I did this, I tried to ma make sure that all of them fit in as neatly as possible so that I could get as many shapes out of the same piece as possible. Now that you're done tracing it, the next step is to cut all of these out. And the same when, when tracing it, you want to make sure you cut within the lines. Try not to make any weird bumps or anything because these will be the final shapes that will be gluing onto the banner. If when you cut them out, they look a little wonky, you can always just trim them a little bit and try to make them as clean cut as possible. Now that they're all set, we're just going to pair each one up with another one that looks pretty similar and put the side that has the pen inside so that it's not showing. Once that all was done, I tried to figure out what kind of pattern I wanted on the banner. I went for blue moon, a star, and then a pink moon, and another star. The next thing you have to do is get the string and measure it 
to make sure that it'll actually fit the place you want to hang this banner. Once that's all set, you're just gonna give it a little chop. Make sure to leave a few extra inches for tying it on both ends. Now you just need to equally place them out along the string. I like to just do this by eye, but if you want, you can measure it. From here, we're just going to use the glue gun and glue the two pieces together. And at the top of the shape, you're going to use a little bit of glue and glue the string in between the two sides. This will just make it so you can, this is reversible. And when you hang it up, it'll look right on both sides. Also, don't be like me and accidentally burn yourself on the glue gun. Be careful, it's hot. <laughs> oh, looks like Dove is curious about what I was doing. She decided to come and join us. I really hope that this tutorial is helpful for you and you're able to make something super cute for yourself. This is what mine turned out like. If you tried this out for yourself, let me know how it turned out in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.